this full body workout. We've got the lovely Carla here, as well as the lovely Miss D. Hola, chicos. Let's get after it, guys. Let's bring it in. Let's break it out. Let's get this party started. Here we go, y'all. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. All right, spread it out, fam. Spread it out. Always like to start these workouts out by filling the body out, seeing how everything's going. If you have any aches and pains, so let's start shaking those arms. Remember, guys, the next 45 minutes, we are keeping our body moving, even if you have to modify. So let's take that right arm, bring it across the body, get those wrists going, seeing if we have any aches, pains, limitations going on today. Three, two, one, switch it up. Get those wrists moving. Took my pre-workout like 15 minutes ago. It's starting to come through the veins. I can feel it. Shake it out. Let's get that right arm, bring it behind the head. Good little pull on the elbow, but at the same time, you're pushing on that hand. If you're just joining us, guys, come on in. We are just now getting this warm-up started. Shake that out and switch it up. Welcome to the party, the full body party. Squeeze that up fist a little bit. Shake that out, shake that out. Okay, y'all, let's stretch those legs out, fill the legs out, and just see what we've got going on downstairs. We're gonna grab that right foot, get a good little pull, engage your core, think about your stability into the earth, you're holding on tight. Get a little DJ going. Two, one, set that one down and switch it up. A lot of times if you have something in your house you can look at it that's not moving, something steel, just stare at that. You are touching your belly button, that helps out guys engage that core, help keep that stability going. Two, one, set that one down. Probably still working on it. All right, y'all, we're gonna go back to that right leg. I just wanna get a slight pull on that hamstring, the back of the leg. We're gonna take that knee, pull that straight up into the sky. Get those ankles moving a little bit. I literally do this every single time, this little routine before I hit any workout, just to fill the body out, see what's going on. Set that one down. Let's switch it up. Just a slight pull, guys. See what everything's going on. We had leg day yesterday. If you're hitting legs yesterday, you're feeling a little tight, maybe a little sore. Three, two, one. Set that one down. Okay, y'all. Let's get these bodies to the next level. Let's start out by getting some small arm circles going forward. Small arm circles going forward. Don't stand still. Don't have cement feet. Keep those feet moving a little bit, guys. You're either tapping up, tapping behind. Let's go a little bit bigger. Focusing on that breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. A little bigger. Real big, actually, it's just go real big. Two, one, shake that out. Let's go ahead and get those small arm circles going backwards. Keep moving, a little bigger. Breathe through it. Big guys, real big. Three, two, one. Shake that out, shake that out, shake that out. All right, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and jump into some lunges. When we're hitting a lunge, make sure that you're engaging your core, you're staying nice and tall. You're powering forward, controlling yourself, and powering right back up. If you can't go all the way down, that's okay. Modification, guys, you're just going right here. Remember, engage that core, control your movement. We're gonna do these for the next 45 seconds. Start out with your own pace, and then build it up. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Good job, stand up. 
fall. Take a nice big deep breath. Fill that blood. Pump it down into those legs. That's what you want. All right. My infamous jumping jacks. We're going to be hitting a total of 30 jumping jacks today. Modification on a jumping jack. You're stepping out. You're stepping out. Whether it's knees are coming up to the ceiling with you. Regular. You're just jumping. Making it happen. Here we go, y'all. 30 jumping jacks. One here you count with me. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come on. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good job. No cutting it short. Get all those reps in, guys. Okay, fam. Let's take it down to the ground. Get this upper body a little bit more engaged. Work a little bit on those wrists as well. First exercise we're going to be doing is just going to be a simple mountain climber. We're only going to be doing that for 20 seconds, guys. Mountain climber, you're driving those knees up to the ceiling. Probably going from sideways. Focusing on keeping those hands right underneath those shoulders. We're going to perform that for 30 se I mean, sorry, yeah, 20 seconds. And then we're going to drop straight down into a plank. Just right here, we're in a plank. We're going to be doing that for 20 seconds. And then we're staying in our plank and we're going to drop from side to side for 20 seconds. All right? Part of that warm up. So we got 20 second mountain climbers, 20 second plank, 20 second. Rotation on the hips with that plank. Everybody, here we go. Get to your mountain climbing position. Three, two, one, go. Really grip the earth and drive those legs.
far, guys. Good job so far. Let's get a little bit more transitioning going side to side. We're going to be doing some curtsies. Make sure you have you guys have enough room from each other. I'll step a little farther back. You guys can be up front. What you're going to do is have those arms up at your side. And we're going to take that leg back over and down. And then come up, back over and down. We are going to be doing a lateral movement in the workout later, so I want you to find that comfort. We're doing that for one minute. This will be our last exercise, and then we're going to really get after it. Here we go, fam. In three, two, one, go. Strong core, arms up. Bring that leg back and over as much as you can. Seconds, we're going to have 15 seconds of rest. Then the second exercise, we're going to perform for 30 seconds, and then we're going to have 15 seconds of rest. We are going to have three rounds, guys. Keep your bodies moving, enjoy it, engage your core, breathe through it. The first exercise, we're going to be doing a sumo to a hammer, curl to a press. So we're going to drop down with our weights into a sumo. Feet are a little bit further outside of those shoulders, the toes pointed out. You're going to stand up, you're going to curl that weight up. And then press, come back down, bring that weight down in front of you. Notice where legs are opened up right here and point it out, guys. It's not your regular squat. And then we're coming through here. Keeping that movement going, strong core. Second exercise, we're gonna do a squat to a heel raise. So we're gonna keep those weights in our hands on the outside of those legs. Good, strong core, nice and tall with that upper torso. And then power up into our toes, holding that weight in hand, modification, no weight. Modification for the first one, no weight. You might have limited range of motion as well. Third exercise, tricep kickbacks. You want to have a nice, strong core, good lumbar curve back here, and then you're kicking that tricep back. Bring it back up. Notice her elbow is staying high in the air when she kicks it back. It does not move. The elbow stays 
at the side of the body. I don't want to see you guys doing this, okay? We're not using gravity, we're just locking it and we're quick kicking it back. Next exercise, we have a reverse lunge with the curl. Boom, step up, reverse lunge, curl, step up. And for reverse, if a reverse lunge is challenging for you, you can do a forward lunge, but we prefer reverse on this one. Show it sideways, Carlita. Reverse lunge, you're dropping that leg back and curling, and then coming back up. Alternating legs, coming back up. All right, fam, here we go. Grab your weights. Start out with that sumo to the hammer press. Then go into that squat to the heel raise. Try some kickback, reverse lunge with the curl. 30 seconds each exercise, 15 second rest in between each exercise. I'll let you know when to go. I'll let you know when to rest. Let's get this party started. All right, fam. Sumo hammer press, legs are opened up. You're in the position, strong core. Let's get going in three, two, one, go. Here we go, baby, here we go. Three rounds. Okay, you can do one way here. Three, two, one, rest. 15 second rest. Next, we have a squat to the heel raise.
your body. Our second workout is going to consist of four different exercises. We will not be using weights. Body only, y'all. Body only. It's going to be a little bit more conditioning. Push your body. Just know that your body has the energy deep, deep, deep inside. You just have to keep moving. Your body will utilize it. Remember when you're hurting on your sides or your muscles are burning, it's because your muscles are looking for oxygen. 
So just breathe deep into the area that hurts and push it right back out. So our first exercise, we're gonna do a push up with the side plank. We're gonna perform this exercise for 30 seconds. Push up, which we practiced earlier, but then you're gonna rotate a hand up and over, pause it for a second, and then rotate to the other side, up and over. Come back up, up and over, drop it down, up and over. No excuses, guys. Three kids, right? Yeah. 46 Four years kids. old. Four kids, oh God, I always forget. Four, 46 years old. 47. 47 now, <laughs> yeah. Blessing them out, no excuses. Come on, you just gotta get training. Second exercise. Second exercise is gonna be a burpee. You're jumping in the air, you're coming to the ground, and you're coming right back up. No push up on that burpee, guys, no push up. Modification, you can walk it back. Step down, walk back. Remember, this is practicing falling down and standing up. If you only get one rep in over the 30 seconds, that's okay. You're practicing and you will get better. Second exercise, we're gonna do plank jacks, so we're back in that push up position, and we're gonna be jacking out and in, jacking out and in, jacking out and in for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna have a 30 second rest. Modification, yes, you're stepping out. And then the last exercise is a Heisman, so we're gonna be standing up, we're going lateral, side to side. You know the Heisman, the trophy, winner. For college football, that doesn't happen, but we're gonna get there. All right, guys, we're gonna do three rounds, 30 seconds each exercise, with a 30 second rest in between. So a little bit longer rest, because you're gonna push your body really hard, and it's gonna need a little bit longer rest in between those exercises. If you need to take a sip of water in between, just take a quick sip just to rinse your mouth because you will get a side ache because it's going to be moving and grooving. All right, squat. Now I'm kind of scared because I drank a lot of water that last time. We're starting with the push-up side plank. Get down onto the position. Here we go. In three, two, one. 30 seconds, go! Rock four, come on. Take a breath. 
and your hips, guys. Use that part of your body to bring yourself up, not gravity. 30 seconds of that, and then we're gonna roll over to our front, and we're gonna hit 30 seconds of mountain climbers. And we want you to get a nice cross on this mountain climber. So we're going side to side. Don't just bring that knee up, guys. When you're doing it, you're crossing your body, crossing your body to really work that oblique section right here. Next, we're gonna be doing weighted V-ups. So you're gonna grab a light weight. We got five and eight pounds in our hands. You're gonna do a regular V-up, and then you're gonna bring that weight up into your toes. V-up, bring that weight up into your toes. Keep that body going for 30 seconds. And then we have a one minute rest. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute rest, y'all. I'm gonna get my weight. Start out heavier and then maybe go lighter. All right, be ready, guys, to move and groove. 30 seconds of one exercise, then transitioning to the next. Here we go, fam. Get to your crunch position. Your feet can be sideways or they can be together on this one. All right, squad, here we go. In three, two, one, go!
open up that core. Oh. Oh, man. Breathe, guys. Breathe. Keep moving. Oh, good job, guys. Let's cool it down. Let's cool it down. Woo, let's get to your spot, guys. Let's stand there. Let's go ahead and get some head rotations. Going one way. Slow, controlled. Good job today, guys. Think about all the activity we just did in the last 45, 50 minutes. Let's switch it up, go the other way. And you're just breathing. Woo. Stay active out there, guys. One more month, and hopefully things are going to really start opening up. Three, two, one. Breathe, guys, breathe. Go ahead, take that right arm, bring it across the body. And then we're going to slightly now follow that hand. Bring it back up. Switch it up. Follow the hand. Bring it back. One more time the other way. Come back. Shake that out. Grab the other side. Come back. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and bring it down onto the mat. Oh, sit on our booties. Let's put our feet together. Bring your clothes, your groin close to your feet. Stand it tall, slightly push down on those elbows, on those knees with your elbow. Take a nice deep breath. Focusing on what you just accomplished. Kick that right foot out. Go for that foot. Family on three. Woo. Awesome fit family on three. One, two, three. Awesome fit family. Good job, guys. See you next time.